Dimitri, many congratulations into the final four of the World Grand Prix. Just sum it up for us. Today was even more unexpected than uh, the first few days. Uh, my practice, my warm-up wasn't going as smooth as I wanted it to. Um, I was coughing the whole time. I was still coughing on the on, on, on the, the stage. Um, I don't even know where it's coming, it's coming from, but uh, yeah. I've got a little bit of a runny nose now as well, so maybe I'm getting a cold. I'm not enjoying it, but one thing is for sure, I'm going to definitely take a very hot shower before I'm going to go in the bed. Hopefully that is going to do a little bit of a trick. Um, tomorrow I've got to play semi, uh, semi-final of a major, and um, at least I want to give my opponent the game, because at the end of the day, my opponent is on fire. He's doing remarkable stuff, strong stuff on a consistent base. Um, I, I need to be on, on top of my game as well, but um, I think I've given myself a lot of boosts now to, to be in that position. So, fingers crossed, let's play another game of darts, and if it keeps going the way it's going, they should never be one set in front of me, because apparently everybody who wins the first set is losing so far. So, touch wood, fingers crossed, if he wins the first set, he might be in trouble. <laughs> Obviously, you two have been through so much together this week. Yeah. Does, does the dynamic change at all tomorrow or only when you get to the venue? Um, me and him, we know each other for a long time. We've played many tournaments against each other in Belgium, outside of Belgium, on the development tour. Uh, we both know that we are really good. Uh, we both know that at the minute we are the ones that are carrying the flag for the Belgium uh, country. And uh, right now, whatever I can say is that I'm so, so proud of him and me. Uh, we are going to be in the semi-final of a major against each other. Once again, I said it before, we're going to have a major finalist this tournament. Uh, it's it's brilliant. I, I love it. Very simple. I am loving it. So, um, whoever got sayings, whoever got their own thoughts, fine. You're allowed to. Meaning of speech, everybody is allowed to, but I don't care. <laughs> Dimitri, congratulations. Thank you. Dimitri, you probably didn't hit your top gear tonight, but you no. found the right darts probably at the right moment. Um, was timing key tonight? Um, timing 100% was key tonight. Uh, I've also once again played against someone who wasn't confident. Uh, Joe didn't show how good he actually can be. Uh, I think that worked in my favour. Um, I've got a few shots, a few moments that are really stepped up. Um, my one eighties at some point just every lick almost kept going so um, that is not easy for someone to hear when you're hitting perfection on a consistent base um, in my point of view it's a brilliant feeling to hit a lot of consistent uh, perfect shots but uh, at the end of the day you need to do the right things at the right time and I think that's what the reason is that I'm sitting here in front of you now yeah Luke Humphries is probably the overwhelming favorite out of the four players uh, in this do you see that or not no Luke is an amazing player. I totally agree with you in that. He has won this tournament before, but I'm sorry to say, Mike the Decker is playing the best out of the lot. Like all respect to everybody, but whoever understands darts, they all need to admire what Mike the Decker is doing this tournament. Backstage, a lot of people are saying like, wow, what, what, what's this kid doing? Um, what kind of food is everybody giving him? Like, it's amazing, he's doing amazing stuff. He beat um, Damon Hedda, first round, 2-1, and he was a little bit lucky there, because Damon missed some match starts. He turned it around, he won the game, and then the next two games, he didn't lose the set. Who did he play? Gary Anderson, back-to-back -back world champion. James Wade, third best player in the world, who's got 10 major wins over his career and he didn't give him a set like come on everybody please be honest I'm, I'm, I'm not talking weird words I'm not talking craziness I'm talking facts Mike the Dicker at the minute is playing the best in the whole tournament so <laughs> I've got a little bit of a tough game tomorrow <laughs> thank you, thank you. Demi, you said you'd be travelling to the venue with Mike tomorrow. How do you kind of put that friendship to one side once you get up on that stage? Uh, it's all about business. Um, whatever happens tomorrow, if he wins and if he beats me, he's not going to tell me, Demi, you know what, I'm going to pay the rent for you next week. Um, I'm going to pay uh, electricity and water. I don't really think he's going to say that to me. So at the end of the day, this kid showing amazing stuff. Finally, his capability is showing up and I'm dead proud of him. But uh, tomorrow it's all for one and not for all. It's him doing his thing and I'm going to be doing my thing.
Tuesday. Thank you, Dimitri. You've spoken about this week that your form's not been great for quite a while. Yeah, if you lift the trophy, that's two majors in one year. So, in a weird sort of way, it could be your best year since you've joined the BDC. <laughs> it's not been great for. What's that there? Following my, following dreams, my there. dreams, guys. Following my dreams. As soon as I won the UK Open this year, I was thinking, I want to win two majors in one year. I've never done it before. I know it's crazy to say because it's only been my second major in my career, but I've had such a long year going and I'm two games close. You know, I wouldn't even expect it myself, especially after the last two months, to be in this position. But yet, here I am. Here I am. Wow. Demetri, a huge round well on tonight. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.